If you're interested in with this, uh, getting this uh, look, then stay tuned. First, make sure you've got your base coat. Doesn't matter if it's um, even or not because we're going to so kind of haphazardly put on the peachy keen on the tips. Doesn't really matter what it looks like. See, all the tips are covered with peachy keen. Very slight difference, you can hardly tell, but that's what I'm going for because I like monochromatic color schemes. So I'm having a darker peach, a medium peach, and a lighter. This isn't peach, but it'll do. And I'm making a gradient on my nails. So, on the tips it'll go. I painted a coat of sage vite over the top to help the colors kind of blend together and dry faster. You don't have to do a clear coat on this step, but I did. For cleaning off your stamper in between stamps and your plates, if you clean your plates after every wipe, which I don't because you don't have to. Well, not always, but sometimes you do. Anyway, just whatever. There's no rules. Um, I use these lint-free cotton swab things. Because if you get regular cotton um, dilly bobbers, you'll get like little cotton hairs everywhere when you're stamping and it's like oh my gosh it's so annoying so um there's lint free ones which is what i use when i'm conan stamping because if you want to know what happens go to my video with the teal french tip and you'll see fuzz like everywhere so that's what happens okay good song is on i'm going to be using plate m57 the netting design and the little Okay. Okay, there, I did that. I'm I'm going for like a subtle because it's spring and, and So just start adding flowers at the base or you can skip this step. It's up to you. Okay, so that's what it looks like with all the little flowers. It's all a very subtle, excuse all the cuticle oil at the bottom. The flowers, if I didn't mention before, are on the same plate as the netting, so plate M57. I use this plate um, a lot, so if you're looking for a good plate to get, I would, I would get this one. That's what it looks like. 